Hi, shout out to the English department and Zaria, and you're watching TMA. Okay, Thomas. Over the weekend, I took some time and analyzed the riddle. So what you're really telling me is that you used ChatGPT to get your answer. What? No. Okay, but in reality, I kind of just Googled the riddle. But I thought it was a red herring, but now I think I see the vision. Really? Mind sharing what you have? In a sec, I'm not completely sure that the information I have is 100%, and I don't really want to accuse anybody of something that they didn't do. All right, but do it during the Pledge and show. You had the whole weekend, so my expectations are up here. You know that isn't that high. Well, I'm sitting. Cut me some slack. All right, but just go to the announcements. I think I'm on the verge of discovering greatness. All right, let me do this. Titans, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence. Good day, Titans. Welcome back to your favorite ACHS announcement show. I'm your host, Henry Lopez. And I'm your other host, Thomas Troche. And today is Monday, April 8th, 2024. Sure is. Now what are the results of that investigation? Okay, so actually it took deliberate planning, a lot of thinking, and restless nights up, but... We'll try to take down Obi with the cookies. We'll try... How did you know that? Yeah, the answer to the riddle was dining table. It was a hint for where the cookies were poison. Three times a day, the meals, homework, and play. It's where I spent the day. How did, you end up, how did you end up getting all of that? It was really easy, but we had to do the announcements. I'll finish my monologue soon, don't worry. Come join the Black Student Union at, and AVID for a dynamic seminar about your academic future success on the following topics. Elevator pitches, scholarships 101, time management, study strategies, professional resumes, and emails. The sign-up form is available on BSU's Instagram account, so make sure to sign up by April 9th before you miss it. Except because academic success is pretty important. Although the first boys varsity lacrosse home, again, home game against Washington Liberty was not a win, the team made a big win on its own. They came out playing hard and fighting as a team. Teammate producers Leighton Sutter and Daisy Soisevarn were on the scene. Hey Titans, we're back for another great lacrosse season, with today being the home opener for the boys varsity lacrosse team as they go against Washington Liberty. After an impressive performance last season, including semifinals, we're excited for the new season. Let's go! Tonight, I came out to see my son, Tuki Organic, number 13. The best part of this game were the fast breaks and the scoring on the fast breaks. It was really exciting. moment of the game that stood out is my glorious king, Henry Gibbs, scoring. We were down to put us up, tie us. That was big. That was a big moment. We were down 6-3 to three at the half. We were able to come back, tie it up at all at 7. I thought we fought back really well. 
Um, and sometimes the ball just doesn't bounce your way. So we ended up on the losing end tonight, but uh, really proud of the effort that the guys gave. Wow, what a great game. Well, Titans, it seems like both players and viewers had a great time at the home opener of the season, and there will definitely be more fun games to come. This is Leighton Sutter with Daisy Soisevarn behind the camera, and you're watching TMA. Leighton is definitely right. Our boys varsity lacrosse team is looking good, and we look forward to seeing more of them. Latinos Unidos is organizing an international talent show. Anybody can sign up, and they recommend it if you have cool talent to show off. Sign up using the QR code or the link in the description if you would like to participate. The Summer Youth Employment Program is still open for registration. Eligible students earn up to $12 an hour, but should work at least 30 hours per week. It's open to Alexandria residents ages 14 to 21. It's from June 26th to August 8th. For today's Women in Film, we're celebrating the decades 1970s with the film editor Marcia Lucas, who played a big part in the sci-fi genre. Looking at you, Star Wars fans, and that includes me. Whether or not you've watched the movies, everyone knows something about Star Wars. This iconic franchise has permeated pop culture and become a staple of the science fiction genre. But while all the praise goes to writer and director George Lucas, without the incredible work of editor Marsha Lucas, George's wife, the franchise would not be where it is today, and science fiction and fantasy might look very different. Marsha Griffin married George Lucas in 1969. Throughout the 1970s, she was the editor of many of filmmaker Martin Scorsese's films, and also edited her husband's early films, such as American Graffiti. She was nominated for Best Film Editor at the Academy Awards for both American Graffiti and Scorsese's Taxi Driver. In 1983, she said about her career, I love editing and I'm real gifted at it. During the creation of the first Star Wars movie, George Lucas had originally hired a different editor for the film, but hated the resulting cut, and instead entrusted his wife with the editing. Marsha Lucas cut together the climactic battle sequence of the film, working through over 40,000 feet of dialogue and battle footage. Her masterful editing brought the entire movie together, turning Star Wars from a flop to the smash hit that would define a generation of sci-fi and fantasy films. And she won an Oscar for Best Film Editor for the movie. However, Marsha Lucas said that her husband, quote, never felt I had any talent, and he never gave me much credit. Despite rarely receiving the respect she deserved, Marsha Lucas's work as a film editor was integral not only to the Star Wars franchise, but to film history as a whole. Thank you to TMA producer Sarah McBurney for introducing us to Marcia Lucas. We hope you have a new appreciation for all women. Attention seniors, as we get closer to the end of the school year, it is crucial that you check that all of your graduation requirements have been met. Titan Testing Team is starting SOL testing for seniors on April 8th, so please check your student email if you need to take any SOL tests. If you still need to, to take any work ease tests, either for your CTE requirement or the writing or reading SOL, you can do that on Fridays. Graduation is right around the corner, and you want to get these requirements taken care of as soon as possible. So email your counselor or the email below if you have any questions. Okay. Now, Thomas, I'm actually interested in hearing the rest of this. So I was eating a cookie at home, and then it all hit me like a truck. It's Will, because he wants to be host. And right before we began filming, oh, he said that he also wanted to be host. So Will wanted to get rid of the competition. Oh, so then where does Will be right now? He's in recovery from the cookies. Oh, so he's all right. But should we do something about Will? The attempted taking of a job? I guess if he also want to end up his, on his hit list, go ahead. Well, yeah, I, I think I'd rather not. Wouldn't it be somewhat funny, though, if they both ended up posting together with all the tension that's accumulated from the past three shows? Yeah, that would be pretty funny. Too bad we don't have the foresight for that. Yeah, true. Well, see you, Titans. Bye, Titans.
How did we go from last show being like? Yeah. Yeah. Can they lock in? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God! No way.